Hello everyone. So the topic for today is robust import set transformers. It's a new feature available in the platform, uh, ServiceNow platform from Orlando version. So transform maps feature has a limitation that we cannot pull data into multiple target tables from a staging table or maybe uh, from a file. So today I'm going to show you and demo on how do we import, how can we import data from um, the Excel file into multiple service now tables. So for that, I'm going to take example of risk event and event entries. So this particular 10 number of fields, four fields are from the risk event table where other six fields are from event entries table. So now the first four fields I'll push into the risk event table and the other fields will go into event entries table. So, but if you see there are four records, but only the only three records are distinct. These two rows are same, but this will insert as a single record, a single risk event in risk event table, and it will have two line items, which are called event entries. So that is, that is the data, what we have. So without much delay, let's jump into the instance. So I have imported uh, this particular file into uh, using import sets and which creates a data source. And for that, for this data source, I did not configure the transform map rather because I want to import this data into two tables. So I have used more advanced feature called robust transformer and which has all the necessary configurations to import this data. So before that, let's clean up any data we have in the risk event. It's not necessary, just to double check. Yeah, so let me load the data from Excel file into the necessary tables. So the first step is to run the import set, load all records, and then run robust transform, which will load the data into the target tables. So let's go here, I have, yeah, like I said, we have three distinct risk event records. And I'm assuming this is the record should have two event entries. Here you go. So the event entries has some information, zero and fifty dollars, low, high impact, everything I mentioned, high, low, everything. But how service now is able to pull the data into the risk event and also on the risk event entry, risk event and stable everything that is available as part of a configuration. So let's go back to the data source and see the configuration. So for this data source, I have created a robust transformer. And so let me open the transformer. So this is like not major uh, configurations here, simple name, source table, and uh, this transformer definition table we have to create uh, I don't think we have a module, we just click on this and click on new button. From this, select ETL definition, extract, transform and load definition, ETL definition once you choose it. And for this demo, I have created for this risk event ETL and I'll walk you through on that. Yeah, so this particular ETL definition has three entities, I mean this uh, import is going to deal with three entities. The import set is the one which uh, the table which we have created using the import sets. So this is a risk event and entries which I have created using import sets option. And I, I can simply say load data. This is an option and I've selected the Excel file and this is the table which got created by that. So make sure to have path as empty. Uh, you can, since this is a form, you cannot do that, but come to list view and make this path field empty. Otherwise this, um, the import will not work. So this is an import set staging table, which has the, the data pulled from the Excel. And we are pushing the data into the two service node tables, risk event and event entries. So risk event, and when you just click on new and add these two tables, and we have to pull all the fields from the risk event table to here, just click on the generate field or maybe add necessary fields. 
And if you want to do any transformations, let's say your RXL file has a date and the date you are entering and the format of the system date may be different. So in that case, you can use the formatting functions. Just click on new and it will show you the date functions and, and, and number of functions. System supports maybe a script. You want to transform data into maybe pull the data from some source. You can do everything using the entity uh, the operations. So like that, we have created two entities under our ETL definition. One is the risk event and also on the event entries. So under event entries, one thing to consider is how do we, uh, while creating an event entry, it should point to risk event. How do we do that? That is through the dot walk. So the impact for risk, uh, risk event field should be populated with risk event name. So that means in this Excel name field should will be populated in the risk event table. And this is the reference. This is the, the reference field name. And I'm pointing to the name column in the risk event. So just this is just to identify and populate the society in the impact impact for risk event column in the event entries. So this act as a foreign key, but rather than mentioning the societies here, we are deriving the value from name column. And also uh, now this particular file has four records, but risk event has only three records, but that uh, we can avoid the duplication in the risk event table by simply clicking on uh, the police option. By police option, I have turned on the, um, the police flag, uh, which will create a unique entries in the risk event table with the same name. So that's on the configuration side, how many um, the source and the target tables we are adding under the entity section uh, for a ETL definition. So let me open the ETL definition once. So this is the, the event definition. So far we have discussed about the, uh, the import set and the target tables, risk event and the event entries. So once we are done with the configuration of the entities, we have to map the targets. So we are uh, in this particular example, I'm moving the data from import set to risk event, that is order 100, and then moving the import set to risk event entries uh, 200, because I have to have the CCID of the risk event in the event entries table. So, so the configuration looks like, so the configuration looks like, uh, the entity field mappings, uh, we have the source table that is the import set table and then the fields in the risk event table, we have to simply do the mapping in both the cases. Similarly for the uh, import set to event entries. And then that's it. You are ready to go to the data sources, click on load all, res all uh, load all records, it will load the data and then run, uh, run the robot, robust transform map. So that's it. That's all I have on this uh, topic. Thank you.